studio. I had to take a trip to Bogota. I had to get some documentation done, which meant I had to go to the U.S. Embassy. Now, it had been about 15 years since I was in Bogota last. And I want to say that everything that I show you in this video is pretty awesome, it's pretty amazing. But like all big cities, you have your areas. I don't care for Bogota. And there's a lot of places in Bogota that are just flat out unsafe places that you should not go. But that doesn't mean there aren't great places in Bogota. And I have to say, Bogota is an extremely impressive city. So let's take a look at this trip. Okay, bus stop, having uh, lunch before we move on to Bogota. And I just want to point out napkins. They are not stingy with the napkins. I already had the soup. Now for the chicken. Okay, I'm in Bogota, and I just checked into the hotel. Tired, so I haven't done many clips, but um, here's my room. This bed is huge. I mean, it's it's the room. Some snacks over there. I guess it's kind of like a mini bar thing. TV, cupboard, bathroom, and that's about it. And I haven't eaten, so I'm going to go find a restaurant, and I'll talk to you later. So here's where I'll have breakfast tomorrow. And this is the lobby to check in. They speak some English, so it was pretty nice. Don't get to hear English very much. And the lobby, booking.com found this for me, and uh, so far pretty happy. Outside of the hotel, Hotel Zafira Boutique. About two blocks from the embassy. Check this out. Got a bakery here, around the corner from the hotel. Open 24 hours. This must be some kind of main boulevard. So I can get Tex-Mex on the second floor. Or here, Jenny and Beto. More of a traditional menu. I think we'll try out the uh, second floor.
So I'm here to get a new passport photo. A lot of morning traffic. It's an interesting business. Parking for motorcycles. They drive through these front doors, which are right off the right off the street. You got the guy in the booth there. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but we go back, it's just a parking garage. Very cool. 2500 to 6 p.m. So about 90 cents for all day. So I'm outside the embassy and you got a whole bunch of places here that do passport photos. And I thought maybe, but uh, I went with uh, what was on Google Map. But it's okay, I had time to kill. As a matter of fact, here I am at the embassy, at the entrance for the passports, and they won't let me in. They told me to come back at 20 after 10. And apparently I've got to wait about an hour and 20 minutes. stayed 17 years ago. When you uh, don't have a passport, you can't fly. Here's a bus terminal. I'll be going on that one, I think. Inside the terminal. Well, I got a Dunkin' Donuts because I wanted a nice coffee and I hadn't eaten so I got they call it the Big Toasted it should be called the Big Soggy but inside it's dry as the Sahara Desert the only thing wet is the bread oh well Siento más solo que nunca 
pero todo es mi ignorar mi tristeza, hoy necesito ahogar mi